Hello everyone and welcome to Squishy the Suicidal Pig. Now, I uh, want to get all of the achievements in this game as there's only 12 and I think it would be pretty fun. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get the achievement for beating Jesse the Boom Coyote on Insanity, which is the hardest boss I think I have ever fought and it is just incredibly s just horrible. Anyway, uh, I figured out after beating the game, a way to kind of cheat. Actually, no, it's just straight up cheating. Uh, I'm not sure whether it was intended in the game, I assume it was, but we're going to uh, speedrun this part of the game. If you right click, you teleport. And since this is pretty much the only way to beat Jesse the Boom Coyote, and on insanity anyway, at least it's the best way because you're not relying on horrible amounts of luck. I don't know why I'm falling so slow. Oh, probably the rendering of the, uh... Ah, uh, yeah, with my video software. I don't actually have the fastest computer in the world. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you a cheap way of beating Jesse the Boom Coyote. And I'm not gonna worry about apples. And basically, all you do is teleport. Just a lot. Bloop. And I assume this was part of the game, as, well, the game's all about tricks, so I assume, why not use a trick? Anyway, you will love this, because it's the best way to beat him on Insanity. And I can't believe I'm doing this again. You can just sit around beside him, he can't get you. Ha ha ha, here I am. You can't get me. Anyway, uh, the exploit does not work for any of the other bosses, as far as I know, so you have to beat them legitimately. But uh, as far as Jesse the Boom Coyote is concerned, this is the best way to go. Uh, I also need to do the speed run, and I'm not sure if I want to do that legitimately, or if I want to teleport and just see how quickly I can do it. I think I'm just going to teleport and see how quickly I can do it. Just having a speedrun of a couple minutes using the game's mechanics would be absolutely hilarious. Anyway, uh, sitting up here, you avoid the hardest part of the mission. You could also make the second part a lot easier as well. Because you could run back and forth up here, which allows you to avoid all of the spikes and stuff. And you could get him to sit around in the middle of the screen here and be safe ish. You can still die, and I will probably die more than once, because it's still quite hard. But without the exploit, this boss is nigh impossible. And I was stupidly lucky to be able to beat him. Although, very unlucky to not get the achievement. There also isn't much of a difficulty jump between this and easy mode, so I'd recommend doing it on insane. That way you get the achievement, and it's roughly the same amount of suffering. Anyway, now he's going to fly around in a giant hovercraft-like thing and throw stuff at me. But I can keep him in the center of the screen where I want him, and manipulate where he puts the boxes just by switching sides here to here. And that is by far the best way to beat him. See how he comes towards me, regardless of which direction I'm in? This makes him easily exploitable. It's actually kind of fun to beat, actually, compared to the normal I am impossible, mwahaha, charade. The only problem is you start to get some uh, of the good boxes in places that are not possible to get. Uh, that's actually good, because that will trap the spike. Let's just get him over on the other side of the screen, and push that spike the rest of the way in. I don't need to worry about it. And he won't throw any more spikes while that one's there. Which is a very helpful thing to note. And that's how you beat him legitimately. Really the only way. Now this is a problem. Which is why I'm going to want to keep him over on this side of the map for the rest of it kind of boring, but it is by far the best way to beat him. It also makes it a lot easier to get him hit by the... Uh, oh, come on, really? 
I wasn't paying attention there. Sweet. Alright. Get him over here. Get him over on this side. Uh oh, I'm gonna start getting that area crowded. It's not good. Do not want him to get close to you because he will drop a box of TNT on your face. Now, I can get him over here. Three, two, one. And. What? I missed him. That's not good. This is, see, this is not a good example. I'm doing very badly, despite using the exploit. Just don't throw them down the pit like you like to do. Here we go, I could keep him right here the whole time. Let him get shot in the face. And it is an extremely anticlimactic boss fight when you do this. But beats the horrible pain and suffering that the boss normally is. That's strange. Normally that hits. Oh. Well, I've already missed him twice, but as long as I don't get any more of the good blocks trapped, I should be okay. That could be bad. Not entirely sure. Five, four... Oh, that was really stupid on my part. Oh, I got him. Never mind. Just need to get him over here. And let's get the f killing blow in. I still don't think I'll get my achievement for this because I've already technically beat him. Oh, that's not good. I'm not going to get that box. Once it bounces... Nope. They don't like having bo bouncy crates here. Here we go. Let's finish this. The other thing he likes to do is drop explosives on it. Which is never a good thing. Oh, shit. That is... Not good. There we go. Ta-da! Godlike! Sweet! That is how you beat Jesse the Boom Coyote without any difficulty.